Hey guys, Silence here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. This time around, we have a few things to talk about. So let's start off with more, um, I would say normal information first before the gacha stuff. So let's talk about what's on this banner here, which is the brand new discounted packs that's going to be store. And let me explain to you guys what I have already translated on my Facebook group, or rather Facebook page. <laughs> so okay, guys, the, as you can see, suddenly there are three discounted packs because last night when they released this information onto the game, there were only two variations of this. So now there are three and I don't think it's a very good thing either. Because <laughs> right now they're asking you to spend more money um, just to buy this discounted singing stone packs to get these new year money packs or envelopes or or rather whatever you want to call them by. Uh, because well in the Chinese tradition we, we give red packets with money in them during the Chinese New Year. So the Japanese they don't have a Chinese New Year, they they only have a New Year. So they, they kind of do the same thing um, but you know with a different color pack I suppose. So anyways the information that they release is basically they have these three discounted packs that will last throughout uh, 19 days that you can purchase you know uh, within this time period and each of these sets you are allowed to purchase five of them so that's a lot of money um, of course as usual the 10,000 yen one is the most worthwhile because 2,200 singing stones that it will give you 100 pieces of the New Year's envelope. Yeah, so if you want to compare it with the standard 10,000 yen, the usual 10,000 yen only gives you 175 singing stones, but this one gives you 100 Nyan Kuji tickets, which you can no longer get um, through missions and you know all that stuff, because right now, Uta Macross is now giving out the blue ones with the missions which I have also translated on my YouTube Facebook page links in the description down below make sure you hit like onto my page and keep updated on all things translations regarding Uta Macross so yeah um, if you guys still need the Nyan Kuji tickets to pull out the episode plates to fully evolve it uh, I would still recommend you to go for the regular discount, uh, regular packs instead of the discounted one. But there is a main reason why they are allowing you to purchase five of each set. Which, oh my goodness, can you imagine buying five of this? That's like, uh oh, I think I accidentally tapped on it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, um, five of this 10,000 yen sets, that's basically 500 US dollars ow <laughs> yes even though you get a buttload of singing stones and a buttload of the uh, new year's packs it is definitely not the way to toss your money okay so let's dive into the chaos exchange where you can actually exchange these new year packs for items and let's talk about what is actually worthwhile within this exchange store so immediately off the bat you can see you have rare up stars that require 100 packs. So every time you buy a 10,000 yen pack, it guarantees you a rare up star, which is equivalent to a 5 star episode plate. So that's pretty nice. But do you actually have the money and finances to purchase 5 times of the 10,000 yen pack? Well, that really depends on each person's pay grade, I guess. Uh, yeah. So the other thing that's useful is probably the secret stone yeah to unlock another secret board for maybe a six star episode plate so yes it is cheaper than uh you know the rare up star if you need to fully evolve your episode plates the rare up star is the way to go but if you already got a very powerful episode plate that's fully evolved the secret stone is the way to go which uh, more which is a lot cheaper and the most viable option when it comes to exchanging stuff so yeah, it depends on what you require. The rare upstar shards or fragments 
are well half the times cheaper and you get 10 pieces we, but do remember you need 100 to actually exchange for a rare up star so I guess this is only viable if it's on the last few days of the exchange and you really don't have anything else to exchange for you know if not the rare up star is the way to go but sadly to say the rare up star and the secret stone only have one piece to be exchanged for so once you bought a um, 10,000 yen discounted pack you know twice you'll be able to redeem both of these rare items and that's it then the rest of your packs are going to go within the rare up star shards secret stone shards or maybe even a large episode or so which is pretty useful as well um, considering that the large episode orb only gives or rather uses 30 packs for one and you can exchange up to five so yeah I mean if you need to unlock costumes and all that kind of stuff that's pretty handy oh there's even like a secret stone shard um, smaller pack which only gives four pieces the other one gives 25 pieces that's why they cost different uh, different amounts of the new year pack so yeah so is the discounted pack actually worthwhile? Well, yes it is. Uh, that is if you can purchase singing stones from the store and if you have the finances to do so. If not, I would re recommend you to hold back. But there is another reason why um, the secret stone pack that is available now under discount is useful is because of the gachas that are currently available so let's take a look at the gachas for both kaname and makina that is currently for this event there's a reason why i did not make a video for kaname's brand new gacha um even though it is for her old costume the residence costume you know but take a look it comes with a special note attached to it so immediately you can tell this episode play is definitely useful even though it might have a low total score but let's take a look at the total score first oh wow so it has a total score of 3861 at a plus 25 luck value so this puts kaname's episode play highest on the tier next to god tier which is all the seven star episode plates so <laughs> yes you need the discounted singing stone packs to toss your money into this gacha for kaname it is a brand new episode plate that has never appeared before even though it is on a repeat event and yes it has costume points for her old costume which is the resonance costume so basically if you do attain this episode plate you're getting a very powerful blue element episode plate or rather soul series episode plate uh, yeah and you're getting costume points for already unlocked resonance costume which might give you a large episode of to unlock future costumes that you lack costume points on so it's killing two birds with one stone so that that is if you actually attain kaname's episode plate so yeah so it has s rank for all its skills um it's not a center position plate because well it has a life recovery active skill the main thing is it's a life skill support which is a score and repeat i won't explain what it is you guys should know what it is by now and yeah that that score note attached to this episode plate makes it very worthwhile so this makes kanami's episode plate a very good life skill high scoring active ac uh, sorry high scoring <laughs> life skill support episode plate that's side by side with her current seven star episode plate which is a center position so if you want a full kaname setup you will need both of these episode plates oh goodness gracious me so kaname fans i cry for you this whole month is basically your waifu's uh, time to shine okay so let's move on to makina um makina's plate i would say is another reason why <laughs> you need no singing stone packs so 3853 total score 
pretty well balanced stats all around. And once again, it's a blue element episode plate, so because it's it's supposed to help you with the current event, so yes, it's a blue element episode plate. And yeah, total score. Uh, sorry, center skill S rank total up. Units total is boosted by 30%. So it's a pretty fantastic center skill because it boosts the unit's total stats. So even though it's not boosting the entire team, it's still pretty okay. Uh, I guess it's leaning towards a center position active skill. Oh, apparently not. So life skill... Oh, sorry. Not life skill. Life recovery of <laughs> 50%. I apologize guys, I am still very sleepy, I woke up not long ago and I'm very exhausted. So yeah, uh, life skill combo bonus, so if you guys still don't know what this is, it's a brand new skill that has been recently added, where it relies on your combo, and for every 50 combo you attain, it gives you that 35% boost, so of course the more combos you have, this percentage will be increased. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. So let's take a look at the last page, which is the most important of all to define how good of an episode plate Makina's plate is. It comes with a score note. Oh god. So both episode plates that are featured within this repeat event, Kaname's and Makina's, are very close to god tier. They are one of the best 6 star episode plates. Uh, currently available as well, so that's one of the reasons why Dana made it possible for players to purchase five sets of each discounted set that is available within the Singing Stone store right now. Uh, so I do have enough to do template pools for both Kaname and Makina at their discounted prices. I don't think I will go further than that because I'm very broke at this point of time. So let's do Kanami first because hers appeared first. So let's do it in order. So Kanami before Makina. Here we go. So the luck has been pretty terrible um, after I've attained Kanami's 6 star episode plate. Uh, so I don't know. Let's see how luck goes. We did get a bit of loading there, but I, I won't be expecting too much from this one. Yeah, so three Valkyries. Alright, no red box on the first bling, so yeah, this this Kachapu is pretty much down the drain. Alright, okay, so let's skip through all the common stuff. Hopefully the red box might evolve, but I highly doubt so. So hopefully with this bad luck flushed out, Makinas will be a better pool because we definitely won the costume points for Makinas brand new costume. Yes, which makes her gacha pool even more important because that costume is only attainable through this gacha. So yeah. Okay, so main reason why I won't really invest into Kaname's first because um, I mean if I do purchase the singing stone packs and get more singing stones it's because the costume that comes with her episode plate is an old costume so that's one of the reasons why I would prioritize Makina's gacha more than Kaname uh, if you are a hardcore Ultimate Cross player that's how you should be considering your gacha pools but of course, if you're a, a player just for your particular diva, Kanami fans, please go ahead. I'm not stopping you because her episode play is definitely awesome as well. So let's do this one template pool for Maki Maki. Show me that Kawawa love. Okay, we do get a bit of a drag on the loading. So let's see how things goes. Just give me one or two episode plates with the costume points. I'm... Okay with it. Oh no. The animation doesn't look good. Oh, we do get a red box though. And that's the only one we have. <laughs> that's just horrible. What's with this luck, Dana? Oh no. 
Hey, there we go. That's what I want to see. Okay. Hopefully the red box is something important. At least a costume episode plate. Oh no. Okay, so we only got one plate that has Makina's <laughs> costume point. That's just horrible. What's with this pool rate? <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so that's pretty much all I have to say about the current information with Uta Macross uh, and of course the gachas itself and the episode plates. Yeah, so remember guys, if you guys want uh, immediate or as, as quick a response on the translation stuff regarding what is happening in Uta Macross, make sure you guys follow me on my YouTube Facebook page, links in the description once again. And of course, leave a like to this video if you appreciate all the content as usual. And subscribe to the channel if you are brand new to the channel. And I'll see you guys for more content in the future. Until then, bye!